Today we are going to put to the test the new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. I know, the names of these things nowadays. <laughs> so uh, we are going to put this essentially cream blush to the test today. We're going to see if it is worth the money, worth the hype, and what it's all about. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, then let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. I'm not gonna lie, I am very excited to try this product because the yummy skin line from Danessa Myricks has been quite controversial for me. I mean, it's not that dramatic, it's just makeup, but I personally hated, like hated, and I don't use that word lightly. And I know like if you like it, awesome, good for you. Um, I really wanted to like it, but I hated the yummy skin primer and foundation. I just could not, regardless of the fact that it was full of fragrance and it just broke me out like proper acne from the fragrance, that's fine. But like the products itself themselves, I just could not get to work for me in any way, shape or form. But the actual yummy skin like blurring powder, blurring balm powder, I have the shade Universal, so I never tried this as like a foundation or anything like some people have. But like this actually works really, really well for me as a primer, not so much a powder that she kind of says you can use it for. I can't figure out a way to get that to work for me but putting this like lightly through my t-zone especially in summer when my skin's really oily it really keeps my oils at bay and like the longevity of my makeup going throughout the day so I love this particular product so I'm super intrigued to see if this little blurring balm she calls it a flush I guess it's like to me it's like blurring balm blush whatever the names um, it confuses me but uh, I'm really interested to see how this is gonna go this is a first impressions um, generally I'll know straight away if I like this or not to be honest with you cream blush is a cream blush for me uh, not that they're all the same but like if I like I don't know how to explain it but it's not like foundation where you need to like tweak the way that you kind of use it like for me in particular I like to use my cream blushes or over powder that's how I like to use them and if I can't then generally they're not for me doesn't mean that it wouldn't be for you it doesn't mean anything about this blush I haven't tried it yet but like if the balm doesn't work over powder or how I kind of normally use my cream blush then it's it's not really gonna be for me because I'm not really gonna reach for it like that's how I do my makeup routine kind of thing but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't work for you per se um, because you might not even use powder for example so you know that's why I always say just this is my opinion take them take it with a grain of salt because like if we're like kind of uh, makeup twins or you vibe with my makeup style then you know you might agree with me but if not then it might work for you does that kind of make sense sometimes why people don't like things says just as much about why you might like something as like the opposite of that you know anyway I'm losing my mind this afternoon you guys bear with me <laughs> it's been a day <laughs> so this is the outer carton that the little blush, let's just call it a blush, I can't get my, my head around it. This is a little outer cotton that it comes in, so it just says like Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed um, with Upsolite Technology, and this is in the shade Rosen Brunch, which I will get to in a second. And uh, it's 25 US dollars and 42 Australian dollars. In Australia, you can get this like off Glam Raider, Bodazzled, all that kind of stuff, I'll link them down below for you. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can get it off uh, Beautylish and like Sephora and Danessa Myricks directly as well. So essentially it says this is a matte color for cheek and lips. It has six shades and the description of this little blush is an effortless blurring balm to powder color for cheeks and lips. So I guess I shouldn't just call it a blush because it is for lips as well, but we're friends here. We can, we can like let that slide, right? Um, with a natural matte finish and a buildable flush formulated with upslight technology for unrivaled blurring and oil control. This Swedish technology creates a soft focus, smoothing effect on pores and fine lines create the perfect flush of color on cheeks and lips with ease but smoothing blurring texture reducing blendable oil absorbing hydrating and all shades are universal and designed to look great on every skin tone um, all day wear weightless soft matte formula this is the uh the packaging i love love the packaging and that is the product itself i'll swatch that for you i love how it's got this little clear thing here so that you can like see which shade it is especially if you have like more than one shade I wish all like like Pat needs these little clear things, you know, for her blushes. Okay, so let's look at the shade. Is that focusing? Ooh, it's like such a pretty, like almost neutral pinky color. I think this is gonna be really look at how creepy I look looking around here. Um, I think that's gonna be a really nice color for me personally and go with pretty much all of my like 
um, eye looks and stuff or like a lot of my makeup looks. It does feel a little bit like balm like um, but it does seem to like dry down as well so this might work this might work we'll see how we go. I only picked up one shade in this to begin with because honestly I'm not sure if this formula will be for me um, and I might pick up another shade if I like it. I'm gonna just pop this on my lips first and we'll see. Adorable. Very fuss, fuss free. I feel like it's like my lips but better. I like that. I really like that. If we were to go a step further, I could put a little uh, clear balm on. Let's take this little clear gloss from Victoria Beckham. Oh, I think that's really cute. Look at that. I'm into it. I'm going to take this Ruffa number 37 brush for application. We might actually do um, brush one side and sponge one side. I think the sponge will just eat the product up, but just for science sake. So I'll just like, you know, like they say, pick it up with a brush. And then I like to just kind of like, just blend it into the back of my hand first, just to make sure like when you put your brush in that you haven't got any awkward clumps or anything. It's probably not such a big deal if you haven't powdered your face already, but because I've powdered my face, if I have any like awkward clumps on the bristles of the brush, it's just gonna cling to that powder, right? And then I'm just gonna tap really lightly. Oh wow, that's actually going on. Look at that. Okay, I like it, yay. That's beautiful. Look how blurring and like soft that is. Can you guys see that? I'm not sure how much it picks up on camera. Usually when I look at my monitor, it looks like I haven't got hardly anything on. And then when I go back and edit, I look like a, a clown. That's why half the time when you guys see me, I'm like using my sponge to take off the excess product because in my monitor, it doesn't look like I've got anything on. But then when I, when I edit, it's like pew. <laughs> so I'll just do this just in case. Oh wow, that's lovely. And I don't know if you guys can see, like it has not lifted any of my foundation or anything, none of my powder. And I feel like I just have this healthy glow. I really like that. All right. Now let's try the sponge. We said we would do it for science sake. So I've just got some. Again, I still tap this out on the back of my hand because you don't want any unhealthy product munching. Oh, that's still, that applies lovely too. It actually applies, I feel like, a little more concentrated. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this blush, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Wow. This is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, this is 4K and I don't put any filters on, so... You know. I really like this as a lip, too. Hmm. Okay, awesome. I'm... Yep, I'm not gonna lie. Do I need more cream blushes? No. Am I gonna pick up another shade? Yep. Because I'm, that's my toxic trait. Buying more makeup that I don't need. And I don't care about it. <laughs> I'm going to go finish my makeup because I'm in the middle of filming. So this will already be up. But I'm in the middle of actually filming my Tom Ford concealer review and my Forbidden Pink quad review. Um, so I'm going to go finish that video. And then I will come back, show you guys the finished look, and wrap this up. So two seconds. This is the completed makeup look. I will link all of the products that are on my face today down below. I did not put any other blush on. We are just still wearing this little lady right here. So again, this is Rose and Brunch. I like that name, Rose and Brunch. It's probably Rose and Brunch. It's Rose and Brunch. I'm so glad we got to the end of the video and figured that out. <laughs> Hopefully you're still here watching and, and are here with me. Anyway, um, okay, so Rose and Brunch is adorable. I love this formula. It's very, very pretty. It, it's not sticky at all to touch. Like I said, I haven't put any powder on or anything, anything like that over the top. I did put a very small amount of highlighter right here but not like here. I tried to keep it like just on the top here so that it wasn't touching where this blush was. I think it's a soft color. I actually still have the same, like when you guys saw me put this on the lips with the Victoria Back and Posh Gloss over the top. I haven't done anything else. That's still this lip combo. And I'm, I'm really, really into it, you guys. Like absolutely 100% buying another shade. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. It's so natural and beautiful. 
I really, 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 really like it. Only you can decide that for yourself. Everyone's value of a dollar is different, like I always say around here. So I'm just here to tell you my personal opinion and whether or not I like it. But only you can decide whether this is something you might like, might need, might not need, whatever, yourself. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. But if you have tried these blushes or you're eyeing them off, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you're watching to this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.